Okay, everybody, we're going to take a quick walk around uh, my 2012 STI, which is uh, for sale. This is a car that I purchased new back in 2012. Uh, it's been a single owner by me ever since. And uh, it was a cold start, as you just heard there. So uh, that's what she sounds like as she starts. Uh, this is a completely unmodified car. I've not uh, made any changes. In fact, the biggest, most visible change probably is these Rally Armor mud flaps, uh, which are installed here. Also installed uh, hitch on the back. I have towed a, uh, a lightweight Harbor Freight trailer a few times with uh, back when I used to do some race karting and when I used to have a track bike, uh, but the majority of the time that's just been used for holding a uh, bicycle rack for my bike. Uh, come around the side here. Uh, I've got the roof rack installed on here. This is included with the car. Uh, the towers are mounted permanently to the car and then the bars just mount on here. You basically clip this on and they drop right in place nice and easy. Since the towers are permanently attached, they do touch the paint. Uh, before I had that installed, I put on some clear vinyl strips, which you can maybe see here, to protect the paint. So if you're not into roof racks, uh, it should come off without doing any damage to the paint. Take a quick peek inside the car here. Full gallery, which you can take a look at for all the details, but uh, that's what she looks like. WeatherTech floor mats are included, the front and rear, plus the standard floor mats too. Come around to the front here. Pop the hood. As I mentioned, completely stock car, no modifications, never tuned, never chips, nothing like that. The only aftermarket thing under here is the battery, actually. Put the uh, pigtail under here, and the trickle charger. There are a few damaged spots to the paint, which uh, we can take a look at right now. One is right here. See next to my thumb. This is a little scuff that was made from the bottom of a kayak that was mounted on the roof. Opened the hood a little too much. And then down lower here, you can see a slight scrape on the lip of the bumper on the bottom. Small crack here, as you can see. This was caused by uh, an ill-advised U-turn that uh, resulted in nosing into a bush. Now both of these are pretty light. They are down through the paint. Uh, I debated about getting them fixed before posting this listing, but I was advised to leave them as is. That way you can figure out what you want to do. Uh, frankly, I'm not very skilled when it comes to using touch-up paint. Maybe you're a little bit better. If you want to get it resprayed, that's uh, up to you. I decided I'd leave that to, to the buyer. Oh, also, uh, one of the side vents here flew off, and uh, so I replaced them with these carbon fiber units. They are just clipped on there, the, although these are double-sided tapes, so that doesn't happen again. And you can see the matching set. These are the stock wheels uh, with Michelin Profile 2 on here. Um, excuse me, Super Sport on here. A couple scuffs to the wheels, which you can see better in the, the gallery was caused by my friendly local Subaru garage when I brought it in for service early on, who of course denied liability and told me to take them to court if they were going to change it. This is the other scuff on the back side of the wheel here. The two on the right side are perfectly fine. There's another set of wheels and tires which are also included. A gold set of roto wheels with a set of Nokian studded Hakka tires which are perfect for this time of year. Pop the hatch. This is the cargo cover, which is included. Take a look, I do have all three of the headrests. I just forgot to bring them out before shooting this, but uh, I assure you they're there. I'll grab a picture of those. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's the walk around of my 2012 STI wagon. Uh, now, if you like, I'll take it for a short spin. All right, I've let the engine warm up a fair bit. I feel like if more people let their Subarus warm up before they romped on it, there'd be many fewer spun bearings in the world. But uh, I'll run it up through the gears now so you can hear what that sounds like. Never had 
any issue with fifth or sixth gear grind, which I know can be a problem with a lot of STIs. In fact, I've had the problem with my other STI, which is a 2004, but never had a problem here. Uh, but then this car has never been raced, uh, never been launched hard, never been driven really that aggressively. I've definitely had fun in this car, uh, but I've always treated it with respect. I've always had another Subaru that I can take out racing. So this one uh, got, uh, got the easier treatment. This is my, my daily driver, as it were. As I mentioned, I've owned this car since new. Never chipped, never tuned, never modded. Uh, I did make a couple tweaks on the outside, as you saw. On the inside here, the only real change is the head unit here. It's a Panasonic Nex 8100 that adds both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to the mix, plus basic integrated navigation if you want that. I've got it wired up so that all the steering wheel controls work. Uh, I'll give an example. What's the weather in New York City tomorrow? Oh, I have no data connection. Anyway, it does work. You have to take my word for that, but you can control the volume and skip tracks. There's no internet connection at the moment. Thank you, Google. Uh, let's see, what else should I talk about in here? Oh, I do have the standard head unit if you want the old school double bin unit. Uh, that'll be included so you can pull this one out and swap the other one in easily enough. Um, what else should I talk about? Uh, well, I guess you know the big question a lot of people are going to ask is why are you selling the car? Uh, and it's been a difficult decision. I've been talking about selling this thing for years now, and I finally decided uh, that it's it's time. You know, when I bought this car, I wanted something that could do everything. That was fast. It was manual. It was fun, uh, but yet yeah, was also practical and could hold a bunch of cargo. Take my wife and I out to the country for a week. Uh, put the bike in the bike rack. Um, and so I wanted that one car that could do everything. These days, I feel like I want something a little bit different. And so I think that's probably the main reason that's, that's causing me to think about selling this thing at this point. But uh, I will miss it. Uh, this is a car, you know, I've been lucky to travel the world and drive all sorts of amazing things. Uh, and regardless of what I was driving, every time I got back to the airport, I looked forward to getting in this car and driving myself home, regardless of whether there was a foot of fresh snow on the ground or if it was a beautiful sunny day. This thing was always a joy to drive. Uh, and I am definitely going to miss it. Uh, so I'll be in the comments as often as I can be to address any questions. Uh, feel free to ask me anything that you like. Um, but until then, happy bidding. And I'm now going to enjoy my final drive in my STI, though at very reasonable speeds because these tires really weren't meant for these kind of temperatures.